How is it going everybody? You're watching Denable Tech and today I'm going to teach you how to remove a forgotten password of your Mac. So let's say you're like me and you're here on the lock screen and you just forgot your password. You just can't remember and you can't log into your Mac. You can't do anything. You're just completely stuck. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can reset your password, just completely remove it and create a new one. It's actually very easy. There are two ways to do it, and I'm going to do both of them with you step by step. So at the end, I'm going to make sure that you leave this video with a new password and everything sorted out. Okay, guys, so we're going to start with the process number one, which is the easiest one. And that's the one I hope it's your case, just because it's going to be much easier for you. Okay, and in order to access that mode uh, we're gonna actually gonna type in the wrong password three times any password any wrong password three times and we're gonna get a pop-up so as you guys can see I'm typing one two three four right here a wrong one random one hitting enter and then it's gonna say it's wrong uh, with a little shake and then the second time and then I'm gonna do it a final third time as well uh, just to see if we get a pop-up so uh, as I hit enter or click on the arrow uh, I'm getting a pop-up right here saying two things a password hint and that's interesting because if you have manually selected manually typed in a password hint when you actually created the password you're gonna see the password hint right there so it could help you out just remembering from the password hint so they could be useful but if you don't see that is no problem uh, what we want to see if you can see on your computer the Apple ID information so the information that you can reset uh, your password, your Mac password with your Apple ID. And again, this may happen to you, this may not happen to you. It will depend if you have this option um, enabled, if you have previously enabled it on system preferences. If you haven't, you won't see it, okay? So you hit on the little play button and then you have the Apple ID and the password. But again, don't worry if you don't see that. We have a full process um, that I'm going to teach you um, how to do it, even if you don't see this screen. So just stay tuned to the video, okay? Also, if you don't remember your Apple ID and your password, also don't worry because at the end as well, I'm going to teach you how you can recover your Apple ID. So I got you covered in any scenario, okay? But if you do remember your Apple ID, just go ahead and type in your Apple ID. And your password and then after that we're just going to confirm and go to the next screen so this is the easiest method number one as i mentioned so then type in hit next and then uh, as you guys can see it's typed in right now hitting next and then uh, we're going to see a little pop-up regarding icloud keychain password so if you use it iCloud keychain passwords is just saying that it's going to create a new one because it's a new password. But don't worry because you're not going to lose anything. You're not going to lose your old passwords. No, no, no. You're going to keep the old ones and just create a new user for that. But it's just don't worry about that. So hit OK. Uh, the computer will automatically reset and come back with this screen. Reset password. And that's all you need to do, really. You see your username. You see the new password. You can verify the password and then do that password hint that we just saw like 30 seconds ago. And then uh, you just can fill it out and then hit next and you're good to go. That's pretty much it for you if that's your case. But if you don't see that pop up on the lock screen, how can you actually do it? It's not so complicated. We're going to need to go and follow process number two. So method number two, as you can imagine, is the one which you just type in the wrong password three times, but nothing pops up down below right here. There's nothing right here. So what can you actually do? OK, so method number two involves restarting your computer pressing two buttons and then go into recovery mode. OK, and I'm going to show you step by step. OK, so as you guys can see, recovery, uh, restart button, you can either uh, do that or just shut down and then uh, turn it back on. It doesn't matter. OK, and while you're restarting, you need to press on the keyboard command R. OK, and again, I'm going to show you in action. So I'm just zooming out and organizing my computer a little bit. And as you guys can see, I'm pressing on restart and immediately pressing and holding command R. Please keep in mind that if you have um, an iMac or a Mac mini, so any other Mac that is not uh, a MacBook, use a wired keyboard, not a wireless Bluetooth. It won't work. OK, so uh, if you have a MacBook, of course, you can use the inboard keyboard. So go ahead. Keep holding. As soon as you see the, the, the progress bar, you can let go. 
okay that's how it works and then let it do its thing and it's going to open up automatically mac os recovery as you guys can see and then it's going to ask us to just type in the password if we don't know we can just say that we forgot all passwords the blue link all right as soon as we tap on that link it's going to say mac os recovery if for some reason it asks for your wi-fi it's not connected and it asks for a wi-fi click on wi-fi up there select your wi-fi and just do your thing okay just connect to it automatically this may happen for some reason now you have the activation lock which is the activation lock screen and again we can use our apple id and we can use our password to just reset our password from the computer that easily again uh, we're gonna need to use apple id for this process for both processes so if you're not sure what your apple id is while well, i am actually logging in here if you're not sure wait to the end because i'm going to show you how to recover a forgotten apple id as well after you do that if you do remember uh apple id password your mac os recovery again and the same screen is on so new password verify and then uh you can just put a password hint so um right now that's all you need to do you're done you're good to go but again as promised i'm gonna teach you uh how to manually select that feature to enable to reset the apple the, the password from the lock screen and also how you can recover your apple id if you have also forgotten about it let's go ahead and go so if you have also forgotten your apple id i can help you out just go to safari and then uh, we're gonna go here to a website called iforgot.apple.com. I'm gonna have it on the screen and in the description below as well. So iforgot.apple.com. And right here, if you know your Apple ID, but you don't know your password, you can just type in your Apple ID right here and continue. But if you don't know your Apple ID as well, so your email, you have no idea, you can just go ahead and look it up, okay? So tap on look it up. And then um, you're going to have the possibility to, to put your first name, your last name, and your email address. Don't worry if you don't know exactly what your email address is. You can try any and all of your email addresses. Go for the first, the second, the third that pops in your head. Type in all of them. You will be able to recover it. This website is super smart. It will help you out. Okay. So with this, you know how to... Um, uh, recover your password just remove it and create a new one uh, of course you can also recover your apple id if you have forgotten and then at the end as i mentioned uh, that i would teach you how to manually enable that feature to just um, reset your apple id from reset your password from your apple id that very same first process that i taught you remember yeah it's very easy all you have to do is go to users and groups and then um tap on the padlock type in your password and then of course um you're gonna have this possibility to allow user to reset password using apple id that's it have this option turned on okay check this box right here and then if it happens again uh that you forget uh your new password again uh you will be able to reset it just from the lock screen without without going to recovery mode or anything like that just very easily from the lock screen again uh, using my first method that I show in the beginning of this video. So that's pretty much it guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful to you, teaching you how to recover, how to reset, how to remove uh, a forgotten uh, password from your Mac right here and how to create a new one very easily, very simple uh, and now we're good to go. So that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll be back in a few days guys. Bye bye.